Hi and welcome to another video by Jim the Car Guy. Today we're going to talk about uh, diagnosing a catalytic converter problem. Uh, specifically it's a, a P0420 catalytic converter below threshold, bank 1. Uh, just so you know, to locate bank 1, uh, the way you locate that is wherever number 1 cylinder is located. If number 1 cylinder is in the right side of the engine, that's bank number 1. If it's in the left side of the engine, that's bank number one. This one is on the right side. This is, uh, it's a Ford, so uh, number one is up in the right front. So uh, there's two different ways you can diagnose it. One, you're going to need a scan tool to actually monitor what the oxygen sensors are doing. If you do not have access to a scan tool, um, which is probably the most accurate way to tell, then you can also use something like this here. It's actually it's a uh, infrared uh, thermometer where it has the, the laser pointer where you can actually uh, monitor the temperature on the front of the catalytic converter and then we're going to monitor the temperature on the rear of the catalytic converter. Now very important is when you're monitoring the temperature of the engine, the vehicle's got to be hot. Not just warm, but it needs to be hot. And that's the only way you're going to get an accurate reading of uh, the inlet temperature and the outlet temperature. Um, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to get on the computer here. We're going to check to see what the codes were in here. Uh, there's actually multiple codes in here. I already know um, that there's, there's a bunch of codes in there. It's a whole laundry list of stuff that's got to be taken care of. I think it has four uh, misfire codes in it, uh, a random misfire on startup, uh, number two and number three cylinder misfire, which is the right side of the engine, which would be a contributing factor to a, uh, a failure of the catalytic converter. Um, in this particular case, the customer drove the vehicle. Uh, when, when you are driving your car and your check engine light comes on, if it comes on and it stays on, it's serious, you need to have it checked. If that check engine light is blinking while you're driving, you need to pull off to a safe location, shut the vehicle off, and do not drive it. The more you drive it with that light blinking, the more damage you're going to do to the catalytic converter system. Um, what happens is this particular vehicle had a misfire in those two cylinders, possibly more than that. It was dumping raw fuel down inside the catalytic converter and it melted, assuming most likely it melted the inside of the catalytic converter. I'm just assuming we're going to need to put it on the scanner to let this run to see what the oxygen sensors are doing and then we are going to go underneath the vehicle with that infrared and we're going to check the, uh, the inlet temperature and the outlet temperature. Um, this truck is actually cold. It's been sitting since last night here in my shop. So uh, let me get in there. We're going to scan this thing and I'm going to show you step by step how to, to, to diagnose the problem. So let's get started. Okay, we're going to put this to the side for now. Let's get up in here. I just want to show you what we have going on right here. Uh, random misfire. We have a misfire in number two and number three, and uh, also another misfire on startup. So um, I already know from past experience this is going to have bad coils on it. Uh, it's a coil on the plug, so we are going to be replacing all the coils before we even address uh, the catalytic converter failure, which I'm going to show you right now. That's the uh, catalytic converter, PL420, um, bank one catalyst efficiency below limits. It also has another problem with a fuel sender, but I have to discuss that with the customer, see what he wants to do. Uh, that's a video for another day. We're probably going to have to drop the fuel tank out of it, but uh, we will, uh, we will uh, today we're just going to be addressing the issue with the catalytic converter as well as those misfires. So uh, the right way to do this is going to be to uh, first take care of replacing those coils first. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. We're going to change the coils. Once I change the coils, then we're going to come back and we're going to check this catalytic converter efficiency here. Problem now is if we check this catalytic converter efficiency and these cylinders are misfiring, we're going to get a false reading on this converter. So we do need to correct these uh, misfires here first. So I'm not going to bore you with that. These uh, coils are very easy on here. One screw comes right back out. So. Uh, let me change these coils, and uh, once the coils are replaced, we're going to come back and we're going to check this catalytic converter efficiency. Um, but this is the light I'm telling you about with the check engine light right there. 
Um, if that light is on, it's serious. If that light is blinking, it's even more serious. So, uh, all right, and as you can see, the vehicle is cold. So we are going to um, we are going to replace the uh, the coils first, and then we'll come right back. Okay, okay, we are back in the in the truck. I'm going to close the door because that bell is going to drive us insane. All right, first thing we're going to do now is we're going to actually start the truck up. We're going to go to the live data right here, where we we're very important that you have a live data on your uh, on your scan tool. Um, we're going to click in that. We're going to go down to the um, to the um, the O2 sensors, and we're going to check the O2 sensors. Okay. You can see here are all, all of our sensors here. You know, it may be a little hard to see up there on the dashboard for you, right? Let's bring this in here. Probably going to be the best spot for us. So, all right. Um, all right, we're going to start the vehicle up, and we're going to monitor these oxygen sensors right here. All right. So now... To accurately check this, we need to have this vehicle running for a while to get warm. So we are going to let this run for, um, I guess, until it reaches up to the normal operating range right there. So, uh, all right, let's get this vehicle heated up, and then we're going to come back and we're going to see what these uh, what these oxygen sensors are doing right here. And after we test it with that, we're going to go outside and I'm going to show you what to do with this here. So, all right, let's let this warm up and uh, grab yourself a cup of coffee or a beer and. Uh, be right back. Okay, now we're back. We have the vehicle running at around 2,000 RPM, so you're going to have to keep it around 2,000 RPMs. We have the engine temperature up to normal operating temperature, and now we're going to see what our sensors are actually doing here. As you can see, the front, the front is switching just the way it's supposed to. Rich lean, rich lean, just the way it's supposed to. The rear sensor behind the uh, catalytic converter on bank one Bank one, sensor two. That's supposed to, you can see that's dropping all the way down and it's mimicking the front sensor. Watch, I see how it drops down to zero, 09, zero, 03, zero, 01. That's not supposed to do that. This is actually a good converter right here. You can see where that's staying up there. It's switching very little, but it's actually staying, you know, pretty close to where it is here. That's switching perfectly but that one is not. So we know for sure that that catalytic converter on, uh, on bank one is absolutely no good and in need of replacement. So um, I am going to go underneath the vehicle now and I'm going to show you a second way to test it just to confirm what we already know. So uh, all right, let's get underneath the vehicle and uh, we'll continue from underneath there. Okay. Now, just underneath there and we'll, we'll check the temperature. Okay, I'll try to show you what we're doing at the same time here. It's a little tough on the ground, but we're going to check the temperature coming out. See, it's like 375, 376 coming out. Let's try it under the edge. 320, 322, something like that. Let's see what it is going in. Okay. Going in, we have the almost the exact same temperature going in as we have coming out the other side. So we know conclusively that this um, catalytic converter here is no good. Again, we have coming in. Coming in, we have around 322. And coming out, we have the exact same reading. Coming out. All right, let's see what that one is over there. Two sixty. There we have like 380 up in the front.
and they have 260, 250, 230 on the back one. So really that converted air is actually not working 100% efficiency either, but it hasn't, hasn't popped on the light yet. All right, again, 245. So, now we know that our, all right, so we absolutely know that our converter is no good and it has to be changed, so uh, that's it. That's how you test the catalytic converter. Let's get back up. Okay, so to recap, um, as far as the, uh, the, the oxygen sensors, when you have the oxygen sensor, the front sensor and the rear sensor, the front sensor is supposed to switch very quickly. Rich, lean, rich, lean. As the vehicle gets hotter, it switches quicker. As you can see, it is switching quickly in the front one. The back one on the bank one side, it's mimicking the front sensor, which is never a good thing. That means what's coming in and going out are pretty much matching. The, the converter is not doing its job at all. All right, left side converter is working, but in this case here, it doesn't matter because this is a Y-pipe assembly in the front, so we are going to change both converters at the same time, and that's it. We absolutely positively confirmed that this catalytic converter is no good. So, uh, all right, once, once and if and when the customer decides to, uh, to do this job, I will show you what the readings are on the replacement converter. So. All right, now that we put the new cat on, we're going to start it up and we're going to go through our tests to make sure everything is okay. Um, I did clear the codes out earlier. Now we're just going to go back into the, uh, to the data stream to find out what's going on. Then we're going to start it up and we'll see what our O2 sensors are doing after we heat it up. So uh, well, let's see what happens. First thing we're going to do is, we do have to let the engine warm up. First thing we're going to do is we're going to check our O2 sensors. We'll see what they're doing. We did have to take them out of the, uh, out of the converter, and they were a little bit tight. Just want to make sure that everything is okay with them. Gonna have to let it heat up a little bit now. They are switching, so that's a good thing. So let's let it heat up a little bit, and we'll come back in a couple of minutes as uh, as soon as the truck hits a normal operating temperature. And then after that, we're gonna go down to the bottom. I'm gonna show you what a good cat looks like. Okay, sorry about the noise, but I got it up to about 2,000 RPMs right now. Our temperature is up in the normal range, and as you can see here. You see how your O2s are switching? You see uh, cylind uh, O2 sensor, uh, bank one, sensor one? You see how it's switching rich lean, rich lean? That's the way it's supposed to switch. You see how it's sensor um, bank one, sensor two? You see how it switches very little? That's the sign of a good catalytic converter. All right, same thing on bank two, sensor one, and sensor two. Exact same thing, switching just the way it's supposed to. All right, so let's go underneath there. Let's use our laser and, um, and see what's going on underneath there. Okay. I'm trying to do this the best I can here. It's a little bit stinks like heck because of the new door system. But we're going to check the actual temperature going in. Got about 3, 340, 350. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, about three quarters. And now we'll check the out. See the difference? I hope you can see that. Where are you? Oh, there we go. See the difference? 500, 575, 580. Let's turn this light off. Maybe it'll be better. Let's try it and see with this. All right. 
30, 20, something like that. And you can see the back. See how hot the back is? And of course, there's the exact same thing on this one. And a little bit tight up front there, but we'll give you an idea. All right, so that's it. Okay, so I'm going to say we're, we're done with this. We're going to put this vehicle out the door, and we're going to go on to the next vehicle. Um, all right, so again, make sure that you, uh, you do all your diagnostics before you replace your converter. Worst thing you can do is to uh, change your converter only to find out that it was not the converter. Uh, I will tell you this, I did change all of the coils up front uh, because there was random misfires through multiple cylinders. Um, and number one and number four was in specifically where the other ones were showing a random misfire. I talked to the customer and they agreed they wanted to go ahead and change all the coils to avoid destroying the new catalytic converter. All right, so that's it, we're all done. We're gonna take it for a test drive. I'm gonna turn the air conditioner on so I get nice and cool in there now. And uh, that's it, we're done. All right, as always, thanks for watching. Any questions or comments, you send me an email. I'll be more than happy to talk to anybody about anything. As always, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.